Howdy folks and welcome to snowy Colorado and behind me a perfect car for the snow. It's the 2021 Volvo V90 Cross Country T6. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot to say. We're not really doing a full-blown review on this car. What we want to talk to you today about is something that you may not have considered because the United States has gone to the dogs. Would you believe that out of over 300 million Americans, around 76 or 77 million Americans own a dog? Now, let's say that you have an SUV or a crossover and you want to load those dogs in, but you've had a hard time doing it. That's where a station wagon really comes into its own. They're the most utilitarian vehicles out there. Unfortunately, in the United States, they're not that popular and that's a real shame. Fortunately, Volvo and Subaru and a few other car companies still have station wagons. And the value to a dog owner is right back here. Would you buy a car just for your fur baby, as some people say? I would. And this is a really good choice. First of all, we're talking about a ton of space. But the most important part is here. We're talking about roughly 25 and a half inches getting up and over. I want to show you a demonstration that illustrates the big differences between a relatively low station wagon, and this one's lifted too, over a conventional SUV. And bear in mind, this is a little bit lower than some crossovers out there, which are an inch or two higher for liftover. Hey guys, every year we buy a bunch of trucks and at the end of the year we sell them. And this year we're going to sell them on our own website. Yep, we started an auction website called tflbids.com and it's up and running. So if you have a cool truck like this Raptor or perhaps like a TRX and you want to sell it, check out tflbids.com. More importantly, we'll be selling our very own F250, you know, the one that's got the lift on TFL Bids. And that truck is live right now. So if you want that truck, Click on the link below, visit TFL Bids, because TFL Bids, get this, is all trucks, all the time. We are scientific here at TFL. So because of that, we're going to do a special test. Once again, around 77, 78 million people own dogs. What we're going to do is we're going to open up both of these, and we are going to do the patent TFL test using our studio dog, Blaze, and his Wrangler, Tommy, Tommy, take it away. Come here, Blaze. Come on, buddy. All right, this is a Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy. Let's get into the Volvo. You were just too cute for words, but you got to get in the Volvo first, okay? Come here, Blazy. Blazy, come on. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Okay, Tommy, and how much would you say that dog weighs? He's about 60 pounds. He's about 60 pounds. Okay, so that is about a 25 inch lift, okay? Yes. Now, let's look at one of the more popular SUVs out there. <laughs> now, whoa, up to this point is 30 inches, so it's around 34 inches lift to get Puppy in here. And Puppy's like, uh, bro, I don't know about this, man. Blaze is a good boy. Yes, you are. Ready? Up we go! This is Tommy's workout for today. Please, no, no, no! There we go. Good job, puppy. He's like, I don't even want to jump out of here. All right. Maybe he does. So Nathan, one thing I noticed, yeah. it's nice having the squared off rear end. Yeah. Because the dog can stand up and walk around in the back of the Chevrolet. Yeah. The Volvo is a slight slant. So but he can't walk around. Right. Yeah. But it's much harder to load him in the back of this. That took a lot more effort. And my whole point here is that a lot of the dogs, even little dogs, are not exactly statues when you lift them up and put them into a car. The other thing is, some of my dogs would be able to jump in there. There is no way they'd be able to jump in here. And that is valuable consumer advice for like 76 million Americans out there. Thank you. 
this is special under the hood because we're talking about a 316 horsepower engine that puts out 295 pound-feet of torque but it is a supercharged and turbocharged two liter four cylinder engine. They're great because you don't have the turbo lag of a turbocharged engine because the supercharger and then the turbo kicks in so you don't have that drop off from a supercharger. This vehicle just performs brilliantly, especially up here in Colorado where we're over a mile above sea level. Now it's hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission and of course, all wheel drive. The great thing about this vehicle is you really don't have to do much between going on snow, streets, slush, the basics, this thing handles just fine. It has a very gentle ride, which is really important for a fur baby. Oh, and by the way, combined MPG, 24. That's not bad considering the fact that this vehicle weighs over two tons. Okay, there's something else about station wagons that are huge, and I don't care what you say if you want to call this a cross-country utility or whatever. It's a wagon. Access to the roof. Now look, you can get this accessory. You have storage that's fairly easy to access, and that is really important. One final note about having roof access on station wagons in general. There are other car companies, including Subaru, that actually have roof racks that move around so you can put different things up there. When they're not in use, you can move them so it's more aerodynamic. When you need to put something up here, you can make the crossbars connect, which is really cool. Look at that handsome dog. There he is. Good boy. Yes, yes. Thank God you don't look like your father. So here's the whole thing about that. Guys, for dog loving people, buy a station wagon. And if you're gonna buy a station wagon, why not get a Volvo? Tommy's beat the crap out of this thing off-road and it did just fine. I highly recommend him and so does Blaze. Look how chill he is right now, hanging out in front of there. Aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a good puppy. Thanks for joining me for the Fastlane Car TFL now. TFL Classics, TFL Boat, TFL RV, and most importantly, TFL Bike, our newest channel, and TFL Truck Bids, TFLBids.com, sorry. All of those sites and more, this is Nathan and Blaze. We'll see you next time.